What's going on traders? Alex here and welcome to my 2022 home office trading setup. So I moved in in June of this year because I wanted a separate space to be able to trade from here and really be able to focus because I now have a girlfriend and when she's doing anything in the house while I was trading, it was really getting me out of focus. But all of this was kind of a bad decision because I ended up getting hired by a prop firm that actually have an office here in Montreal. So I do now trade at the office and not here. So I kind of got this place for absolutely no reason, but I'll still give you guys a tour and we're gonna be talking about my home trading desk, which I don't really use anyways but i think it's going to be a good video so hope you guys enjoy as usual all the tools i use day trade will be linked in the description so don't forget to check them out so let's get into it all right so we'll start with the left side over here we have uh, the ikea bookshelf which is honestly the cheapest one that i could find but i thought it looked pretty good so i just decided to pick it up it was like a hundred bucks and it looks better than the bicycle that i had before it looks a bit more professional because we're professional over here so on this i have my camera that i normally film on little macbook pro that i use to watch some youtube stuff amazon line and also upgraded with some sound panel because the audio in this room is just terrible so i got a lot of comments from people saying they can't hear anything when i talk now it's getting a little bit better so we also added a rug over here as you guys can see amazon on special 79.99 moving on to this side downgraded the actual chairs so this is an ikea chair it's 99 bucks my good chair that i paid about something like two grand is at the office and I'm gonna get a better one. I'm gonna get the Ermin Miller M body. So for now, it is doing the job. I spend maybe an hour to a week uh, in this chair. So it's okay. Moving on to the desk, this uh, also Ikea. So I guess I love Ikea. It's pretty cheap. I used to have the solid wood one. It was the Carl B, but unfortunately it wasn't deep enough. So. This one, you guys can see there's a good distance between kind of the desk and the monitors. The other one was like cutting somewhere around like here. So the monitors were just like just way too tight on my face. So it wasn't really good. When it comes to the keyboard, I have the Logitech MX keys. Really like this keyboard, but as I mentioned in a couple of videos, it breaks pretty easily. I already broke two of them just because of the hotkey when you're trading. But the fact that I'm not really trading from this desk makes it okay so it's more for productivity at this point i have the logitech mx3 i think everybody has this mouse it's just such a, a good mouse and i really enjoy it the legs over here is supposed to be some power legs but it's, it's missing a lot of peace um what happened ended up happening with these is they're getting to um they're leaking oil at this point so i cannot use the uh the power legs uh just because they're they're broken and that's pretty much the point so i'm gonna definitely change the desk and also change the uh, the chair because everything over here is kind of falling apart but for the moment it does the job so computer i am still using the same thing is the hp oman 25l really good computer it's 16 gig of ram but i upgraded to 32 and i have the nvidia rtx 2080 ti graphic card if i do a mistake i'll just put it on on screen when it comes to the monitors um as you guys can see they're really good ones they are the isus pro art 27 inches they're 1440p and i really like them because they're actually color accurate they're supposed to be more for like graphic designer and stuff like that but i'm using them for i guess day trading and youtube stuff so on them, I have over here chart from eSignal. I don't really like eSignal, but I'm using them for the moment. So I'll make a couple of video about them because there's some good stuff and some bad stuff, but I, I would highly recommend something like trading view to anyone because these are just way too expensive. At the bottom over here, I have the level two from Sterling. Right now you can't see any data because we are on the weekend. And on top over here, I'm gonna have some two news feeds. So this news feed is gonna be connected to this chart this news feed is going to be connected to these charts and these are now really going to be the two stocks that i would be trading i have the news feed of the stocks that i'm trading just because if there's a news that comes out i just want to be aware of it but when it comes to news feed i'll mainly use benzinga over here when it comes to scanning i'll use charts watcher and when it comes to just making my daily report card and kind of like 
news and just you know reporting or journaling i'll use evernote so overall i think this setup looks pretty good and it's actually really functional i don't like the vertical 27 if you're trying to put multiple charts because you can see on this computer this screen over here they are really really small but you, when you stretch them out they're pretty good but you're losing also a lot of space which i found quite annoying but if you put them horizontal you have to put like four of them then it just becomes like too much or too high actually for, for your neck so it's just not comfortable so i think that's pretty much the best way to put them and that's the way i like it for now so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any question about the setup don't forget to let me know in the comment section and thanks again for watching peace